everyone i welcome you all to master html in just 10 days whether you are a beginner or looking to improve your skills in html this series will guide you step by step from html basics to building your own web page today is day 1 and we will start with the introduction to html and the basic structure of an html document Let's get started by learning what is HTML and how do we use it to create websites. Here are five different web browsers. I like to use the Edge browser. You may like the other one. No matter what browser we like to use, all of these applications do the same thing. They take different files such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and they render them into a website. Even though most modern websites are created using these three different files, we cannot create a website with just a CSS file or with just a JavaScript file. But you can have just an HTML file. And in fact, our world's first website is created with only HTML file. Now, HTML defines the content and structure of the website. So for example in this case all that my html file do is it renders a heading that says my website and when this file is opened by the browser it will display that heading saying my website now what exactly is html let's break it down html stands for hypertext markup language if we look at the first part hypertext What does that mean? Well, it refers to the pieces of text which can link to other documents in the website. So, these pieces of text are hypertext or hyperlinks and they are the foundation of how an HTML website works. Now, if we take a look at the world's first website created by Sir Tim Berners-Lee, here you can see it's filled with these hyperlinks marked in blue and exactly as you would expect if you click on any of these hyperlinks it takes you to another document another html file so if we go back you can see that we are on project.html and if i click on one of the hyperlinks like summary it will take me to another html file and this is how hypertext works so now that we know what hypertext is what about the other part the markup language what is a markup language if we look at the english language we often see little bits that function very similar to markup like this double quote the presence of these quotation marks is what tells a reader that this is a quotation so how do you do markup with html it's done through what's called html tags now in the early days of the internet there were only few html tags these days there are loads more but really you are only going to be using some of the most important ones such as heading or the paragraph tag So here you can see all of the HTML tags but we narrow it down to the ones that you actually need to know then it makes it a lot more approachable and in the rest of the course we are going to be covering some of the most essential tags so don't worry about learning them or memorizing them so we understood what HTML is Let's take a look at the basic structure of an HTML document. Every web page follows a specific structure which helps browsers interrupt and display co- content correctly. Here the document starts with the declaration that tells the browser it's an HTML5 document. Then everything is wrapped inside an HTML tag which is also called a root tag. Inside the document there are two main sections the head and the body 
the head contains meta information about the web page like its title which appears on the browser tab finally the body holds all the visible content including headings paragraphs images and links which we are going to learn further congratulations all of you on completing day 1 so here is the task of our day 1 I want you to explore world's first website ever created and also to render basic structure of an HTML. Uh, visit the first website which I have already mentioned in the description. Observe how hypertext connect with different pages. Look at the structure of the website and understand. Now the second part: create a basic HTML file with. the just the essential structure which we have discussed change the title of the page to something of your choice open it in your browser and observe what gets displayed what will it render anything without any heading tag or the paragraph tag okay try it out and let me know what you observe in the comments happy coding